Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 10 in the NIRV for October 10th, 2023. These are the Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son makes his father glad, but a foolish son brings sorrow to his mother. Riches that are gained by sinning aren't worth anything, but doing what is right saves you from death. The Lord gives those who do right the food they need, but he lets those who do wrong go hungry. Hands that don't want to work make you poor, but hands that work hard bring wealth to you. A child who gathers crops in summer is wise, but a child who sleeps at harvest time brings shame. Blessings are like crowns on the head of those who do right, but the trouble caused by what sinners say destroys them. The names of those who do right are used in blessings, but the names of those who do wrong will rot. A wise heart accepts commands, but foolish chattering destroys you. Anyone who lives without blame walks safely, but anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. An evil wink gets you into trouble, and foolish chattering destroys you. The mouths of those who do right pour out like a fountain, pour out life like a fountain. But the mouths of sinners hide their evil plans. Hate stirs up fights, but love erases all sins by forgiving them. Wisdom is found on the lips of those who understand what is right, but those who have no sense are punished. Wise people store up knowledge, but the mouths of foolish people destroy them. The wealth of rich people is like a city that makes them feel safe, but having nothing destroys those who are poor. People who do what is right earn life. But sinners earn sin and death. Anyone who pays attention to correction shows the path to life. But anyone who refuses to be corrected leads others down the wrong path. Anyone who hides hatred with their lying lips and spread lies is foolish. Sin is not ended by using many words, but those who are wise control their tongues. The tongues of those who do right are like fine silver, but the hearts of those who do wrong aren't worth very much. The words of those who do right benefit many people, but those who are foolish die because they have no sense. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and it comes without painful work. A foolish person finds pleasure in evil plans, but a person who has understanding takes delight in wisdom. What sinners are afraid of will catch up with them, but those who do right will get what they want. When the storm is over, sinners are gone. But those who do right stand firm forever. Those who don't want to work hurt those who send them. They are like vinegar on the teeth or smoke in the eyes. Having respect for the Lord leads to a longer life, but the years of evil people are cut short. Those who do right can expect joy, but the hope of sinners are bound to fail. The way of the Lord is a safe place for those without blame, but that way destroys those who do evil. Those who do right will never be removed from the land, but those who do wrong will not remain in it. The mouths of those who do right produce wisdom, but tongues that speak twisted words will be made silent. Those who do right know the proper thing to say. Those who do wrong speak only twisted words. All I can say is I don't claim to be wise, but I hope that I bring gladness to my parents and not shame and sadness and sorrow, right? I'm at least trying. Today I got complimented on my shirt. It's a very old one. Um, but I do my best to take care of my stuff and then wear it until it's holy and unwearable. What are you going to do? This one is still in pretty good condition. And uh, I'd like to get another one. I'm sure they're still being printed somewhere. And I've got an idea for the hand on the back with the nail in it. There was a design that I think was unlicensed that was that. It said, Body Piercing Saved My Life. Right? Um, whatever. Uh, I, I, it brought me joy to hear someone enjoy this shirt. 
He said he had never seen it before, but he told me like six times while I was picking up a, a catering order how much he liked my shirt. So the fact that I encouraged a young guy, you know, out at his job doing his work and he saw a graying dude, you know, not afraid to rep Jesus uh, openly, I hope that made a difference to him. And I hope it was noticed by his co-workers and the other patrons in the store. Not because, like, ooh, I got a compliment on my shirt, right? But, like, it did its job. It literally did its job. Very occasionally someone will see it and I get, like, yeah, or something like that. But this kid was truly impacted. I would not be surprised if he goes home and finds that shirt and buys a one for himself. So, awesome possum. Riches that are gained by sinning, not worth anything. Take it from me, fam. Like Eddie Murphy said in 48 Hours, I wasn't always a warehouse manager. I wasn't always some bearded dude on YouTube reading scripture. And I am still not, as Paul says, I don't do the things I want to do, and I do the things I don't want to do. Don't, somebody said in a comment on one of the daily verses, because of the way the light was hitting me in golden hour, that I looked like holy or something. And I, I couldn't help but snicker, right? Because like, phew, please don't tell me that. Maybe that's the case and Spirit was speaking to me directly to somebody, but yikes. Um, doing what is right saves you from death. It doesn't say you're going to get riches, you're going to get rich. It says you're going to be saved from death by doing what is right. Now, whether that's death in the present or everlasting death, I think it's at least the latter, hopefully the former, right? But we all, there's a 0% survivability rate in this life on this planet. So hopefully I get the latter, right? It says the Lord's going to take care of us. He's not going to let us go hungry, but the, the people doing wrong will. And if you don't want to work, you'd be poor. If you work hard, be wealthy. That's a pretty simple rule, right? Do the work, get the thing, get the reward. I'm having this argument with somebody right now who's a reasonably close friend and we talk a lot, but it's like, oh, I want to create a new website, paradigm, social network that's better than everything else, not considering how much of everything else there is. And it's like, okay, buddy, brick by brick, let's start today. Here's a way you can start on design. Here's a way you can start on building an app for what you've said you want. And it's kind of like, no, no, no. It's, well, you, it's not just going to materialize. It's not going to show up on your phone one day and be like, yes, I thought hard enough about it. Got to do the work every day. If you want to live in a castle, you better start getting bricks together. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I don't think I was the kind of kid that did this, but hopefully I'm raising my kids to be like this. If you gather crops in the summer, you're wise, but if you sleep at harvest, you can bring shame. It was my job to go to school my whole life, pretty much. And I did have jobs, and I did work, but I don't think I was pushed as hard to be as productive as I could have outside of academia, if that makes sense. Um... And I'm not like rah rah child labor, but children were always raised in the context of the profession of their parents and the community and the context of that. And that's what's required to be a whole person. I'm not saying I'm not a whole person, but I think there's something to be said about socially isolating our kids in age groups in specific exercises just to them. There needs to be an element of working within the community. What do, what do I know? I'm a crazy homeschooler. Blessings are like crowns on the head of those who do right. The names of those who do right are used in blessings. Shoot, look at the, the saints, you know, the Catholic saints. I know, just, we're going to say just no to that, but I'm just making an example of like holy, good people. We talk about them like, it's like a blessing. But we don't talk about the people that did bad stuff unless it was like really bad, needs to be historically recorded or an example made of, right? <clears throat> a wise heart accepts commands. We don't have to like these commands. There's a lot of stuff in in this book. 
right? That's like, it's, it's just hard sometimes. But you know what? I can say all the time, Jesus ain't in my posse. I'm in Jesus' posse. He says I do. A wise heart accepts commands. Foolish chattering, trying to justify, trying to talk around it. There were these councils, and we got church history, and this, that, mm-mm, mm-mm. Anyone who lives with that blame walks safely. Yeah, I can't live with that blame. But the the closer I adhere to the path, the less trouble I typically get, right? Because I'm not bringing stuff on myself. I'm not doing stupid things that require stupid consequences. <laughs> Hate stirs up strife. Love erases them by forgiving them. It doesn't mean it's fixed. It doesn't mean there were no consequences. It means you don't swallow the poison you put the burden, you put the person down, and you get on with your life. You forgive them. You just, but there's a lot there. There's a lot we can say about just, just forgive them. Just, but just, that's, push comes to shove, that's the core of this. Just let it go. Move on. It's better for them. It's better for you. You got to forgive people if you want to be forgiven. Who said that? I think it was Jesus, right? Jesus on telling us how to pray. That's why it's in our prayers, because we should be, sometimes we need to pray. It's difficult to forgive people. All right, I'm, I am not going to make it through commentary on all this. Now, what happened was I have like three or four videos to choose from and stitch together from all my attempts and reading the scripture and making some commentary yesterday. So I've somehow burned up all the space on my phone, yakety yak, and one of them was like 30 minutes. So looking forward to a giant video if you feel like that. And, um... Now I've got to play Space Shuffle on my phone. I have 20 seconds left. I'm up the street at a park from my house. I've got to go drop the kiddos off to my loving friends who are willing to watch the kiddos for a couple hours and then go do something fun with the wife and go to a crazy expensive steak dinner that promises to be an experience. But you know what? 13 years is a long time. And I want to show her that I love her and I want to do something fun with her. And it's our first date, really, in like eight years. So... Pray for me. Be blessed.